ma'am we also wanted to talk about this memory game scene again it's a, it's a amazing set piece mm-hmm. and in that one scene with the character names everyone says uh, for the memory game itself it kind of gives the characteristic of the person itself yes. so if you could talk about that scene you know the composition for how you you were told to talk about the names and all if you could just take us through that scene no that was part of the script we didn't make up those names mm-hmm. we were told what names we had to say we arrived there at a time because uh, the weather there was very very hot tibadar so we were shooting uh, early morning like say 6 to 9 or something and then again from 3 to 6 so we couldn't shoot the other times because it was impossibly hot okay so when we arrived there it was already 5 o'clock and we had to finish that scene you know mm-hmm. so shomindu was already doing gaj gaj and you know i'm sure this film will get lots of awards but i don't know <laughs> what going to do you know he will be he was taking our uh, you know the with that meter and light meter really getting fed up so we just sat around as was told and we just had to play the game and manikda was operating the camera himself and being a tall man he was standing on a trolley so the trolley was being manipulated by people and uh, unendu was doing the focus and uh, manikda was operating and the camera had to be say from my I and mean, the camera was moving back with the trolley from somebody's face and taking the others and at one point going to my face and at one point going to shomitra's face now imagine doing that mm yeah and 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 one take okay two takes okay from manikda's side there was no mistake not from our side but you know from a as a safety take you know manikda took but the timing Absolutely. and the i mean i just mind boggles i mean how would he be able to do that and in frame it's not that the frame went like that and he adjusted it it was like that and then it was like that it was not adjusting anything and purnendu of course nothing went out of focus so it was like just fantastic air contribution we did our bit mm-hmm. we didn't have to worry about them but manida was worrying about all of us not worrying but at least looking after all of us and his camera and the weather and everything so you can imagine the pressure that he was under and how much in control of his environment he was and we did manage to finish the scene and it was a wonderful location and at that time we didn't realize what an iconic scene it will be and and kaberidi with her Machi Tarano and all that was just fantastic. She was so good. Oh, she was so good. You are Mone Porche, da. I too am Mone Kotte Bachish na. And you know that you know it was so good. And it was her comeback after a after long a sabbatical. Yes. I mean, she was just lovely. I, I mean, in that scene, everyone like show me through his tension is growing li- literally. Your swag. I mean, there are so many films where you know th- there is one lady who kind of destroys the male ego. But yeah. what Oporna does in Oronne Din Ratri, I mean, you you destroy you destroy the male ego for everyone, for the audience as well. I mean, I would include us as well. It, it, it's it's done and dusted the way. because you do not talk and tell the problems you just there's a blink of an eye there's yeah. a casual look yes. uh, amazing amazing ma'am that and, and hari sort of saying ami parbo na and that line also helen of troy or helen of paris you know yes yes that was also robida yes so that was also allowed i mean allowed matlab aninga applauded the addition yes, yes. and uh, So and, then, and then you said Kennedy, of, of course, Bobby. <laughs> that, was, that was so awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there, when uh, uh, you know he comes back, Shanjai, after you know settling his hair a little bit, and gives the balish and all that isharate, you know the isharate uh, katha bala. So it was. It just worked out like, and no retakes and no uh, like anybody getting nervous or anybody. 
uh, forgetting their lines or it was like a real game real picnic real uh, game you know so it was just uh, every moment of that uh, shooting was so much fun because all day we spent together uh, doing you know chatting and and then we went to work it was like a continuation of uh, the work was like nobody was getting tense about even that scene you know when i'm talking about my uh, my mother being burned to death and i mm-hmm. that also that uh, maninda was a little uh, you know didn't allow us to talk too much to other people and the tree was the character and he uh, sort of came and explained the scene a little bit more in detail there and in uh, the chokidar's uh, house you know he says that uh, you know you're seeing and she's ill with so many children and that was the first day's shooting and manida always said that i want to do the i like to do the most difficult scene first any director would shoot the last scene first and then he didn't change it's not that he added he could have we were in the same location but he didn't but he took the last scene first so i mean imagine the i mean uh, yeah. more i think of him i don't know and i regret that Uh, why didn't i ask him more question and why didn't i spend more time with him and i get envious of shomitro who you know who was the blue eyed boy and who was been <laughs> <laughs> so much time with manika you know and also the way the memory game scene ends you know he you say that he wins and there is this sharp cut and there is this merry go round oh, where both of yes, you are sitting around. and smiling oh yes i mean yeah what more can we say just one more observation about the memory game scene i cannot get over it the first time when shomitro says the name first name and you look at him for once it's it's less than a second and then you look at oh my god like it it feels like it's slowly you this you're trapping him in some sort of a, like this <laughs> this guy is going to fall over his face and that is perhaps just your imagination but uh, yes you see this is it you know we make a film and it's one film right and then when it goes out there to many people who are watching it it becomes many films which it means different things to different people and all of you are interpreting it in a different way you know there is a collective way also thinking but there's also something that you've noticed like i in shima baddho for the longest time i didn't notice that when tutul walks in to the house the curtains are billowing i didn't notice that and at the end the curtains are steady i mean you know i just thought that you know maybe the, the wind but it was not accidental it was manika wanted it like that mm. and i didn't realize that after the party she leaves the door open you know when the telephone ha- you know all that scene happens she and he says good night and i say good night and i go to my room and i don't close the door hmm have you noticed that yes yes and i just noticed it recently i said oh my god you know so yeah so it's a uh, many things sometimes you know when you're watching a film you don't notice or also like you and you will differ you know right. you see something and you will see something else and and when it's generations like manindas film 50 years later the interpretation could be you know it will add something else to it you know but but the shelf life of manindas films mm. i cannot that how today's generation gets it mm.